effective at you know getting people mobilized if they're taking charge of, the, of their own initiatives. You know, we can provide support. We can give them a lot of these materials. You know, we can do leadership development, um, but it's going to depend on people really taking initiative. So we're hopeful about you know all these things that are happening. I think there's there's a lot of opportunity right now, um, and it's a you know matter of figuring out the best way to go forward. Let's let's do five minutes for conversation and uh, or for discussion, and then uh, Moxie, North Carolina, will be at our reception. So if you want to ask them more questions or just chat with them, they'll be out there. Um, and so does anyone have a question? Where do you get your great T-shirts? <laughs> our our community. We, well, we had somebody who volunteered who designed them. You know, who did the design, and then you, we you sell them. Yeah, we sell yeah. them. You great. can go go to our website, yeah. make a donation, and we'll send you one. What's your website? democracy ncorg It's on a lot of the materials that are passed around too. Yes, um, you mentioned that you had some, you did, you had groups participating who weren't the usual suspects. Can you yeah. some of those? It's just, yeah, I mean, we've had, and that's the other thing. It's been from community groups to homeowners associations. It's, you know, we just always get what I always call preaching to the choir. You know, sometimes people say, Charlotte, you got a meeting with hundred people that was great but it's always the same usual progressives what this moral money movement for the association of educators I mean they've never been particularly yeah right. they're supporters but they never but we never really had the teachers and the unions you know it's, we kind of work in silos but now it's all been one giant message not as many conservative groups but there have been moderates because that, that's what was really surprising most of the people in the beginning before this big Tea Party movement were we have been Republican. But in North Carolina most of them were sort of moderate. So we've even picked up those people that have come back and said what the General Assembly is doing right now is shameful. Yeah. So they and, and you do see that. I know um, and Linda went to jail, Adam went to jail, I went to jail. The majority of the people I'll go who black, went, young black <laughs> you know, me out. But the majority <laughs> of the people who went um, to jail were people who came from faith community. We had um, not the doctors, they were with us, supporting us, medical field, economics professors, history professors from the university system. Not people that we normally think of as being willing to uh, engage in civil disobedience and willing to go to jail. So um, it, it is made for a very expanded coalition of folks. And, and that's good because it's very representative yeah. of the state. Uh, the state doesn't look like, you know, uh, Linda and I, for example, and Robert. The state looks like many different kinds of people, and we've seen we've seen those folks there. We've seen our, uh, our progressive uh, state house representatives and and state senate representatives on the lines with us. Yeah. Waiting in Ryan, you drove 500 miles, good shit. <laughs> but generally, we, you know, typically people saw us as a voting rights organization, and so people who had voting rights in their radar and their mission, you know, they they flocked to us. But we've never had uh, the Sierra Club and you know the environmental groups, and, right? You know, so so reached out because the legislation that this General Assembly has was devastating to everybody all over the state. And you can see in the report card that we passed out, there's a number of issues in there. And through our research, we've worked in coalition. So when you see a lot of non-voting rights issues listed in that report card we passed around, it's because we are working in coalition with the environmental groups, with the women's groups, with all of these different groups to get us that information. So it was really a coalition-produced piece even with the Marx and C. Spear having it. And it got to the point that Dr. Barber, who's over in NAACP, had to start making the Moral Mondays be different theme days. So it would be today we're sending in a wave of environmentalism. So we would, they would preach about environmental issues in the Sierra Club, and those would go to jail that day. And the next day, the next Monday, it would be the unions. And the unions would show up in mass. Talk about collective bargaining. Then they would go to jail. <laughs> Okay, we'll take Paula, just a quick question, quick answer, and then oh, we'll, uh, I just wanted to say, I am so impressed with your <laughs> activism. And, and 900 people arrested 
I would I would think that would be national news. What kind of publicity what? did you get? Out of it was national, okay. international. It was oh, good. Australia and other countries. Right. I have more on Monday question. So there was that young girl who spoke about free menstruation. What's her story? Right, and, and so you can YouTube it, right? You just like what search like group. She's so uh, composed. That's amazing, right? Twelve years old from Burlington, North Carolina, Alamance County. Yeah, Linda, you, I know you got to talk to her. I think at that yeah, event that she made that speech. Yeah, we had regional war one and we took it around the state. We didn't just stay in the state capitol. She was one of the speakers. At, right, right, in Elmas County. So, yeah, we called for, we had one in each congressional district and on the same day. And it was amazing. And we had speakers to talk about all the different issues. Uh, to have people who are not even able to vote get involved is awesome. This girl, she's she's 12, and she, you know, she her thing was like, by the time I'm 16, mm -hmm. when I can pre-register, I'm going to work to make sure we have pre-registration. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Yeah. We're also just passing those out because I, I mean I like to share we just like to share ideas I mean I'd love to see some of the handouts other groups use so on and so forth you know yeah. and your information on HKLJ is in this program handout so if you open it up the very first point you'll see when to come to Raleigh all right so